this video we will make a sky dancer. So I'm gonna start with a cylinder. Maybe scale it up on the C axis. Scale Shift C. Make it a little thinner. So this is gonna be the body. Now I'm just going to duplicate this and make an arm out of this. I think they have very long arms, so I'm just going to do it like this. Plug that in here. Um, if you've seen the last tutorial, I hope you've seen the last video in this series. I'm going to use the remesher to create the mesh for the cloth simulation. So I'm not really, I don't really care about, uh, for example, uh, this problem here right now. Maybe just bring it over like this and then duplicate this guy, make another arm. So this is going to be my Sky Dancer and it has very long arms, but that doesn't matter. Okay, now I'm going to put all those together into a single mesh. I do that with the, what is it called? Bool tool. Bool tool is an add-on that comes with Blender. Just go to the add-ons and enable it. And I'm going to click Union. So now I have one mesh. But this is not what I'm going to use. I'm just going to duplicate it and hide it. Also switch on these. So I'm going to work with this. And this is just a backup now in case I have to go back. So now I'm going to remesh this. Let's see how big is this guy now like 20 meters tall okay so for the voxel remesher this would be 10 centimeters that's kind of i think i'm gonna do something like this and voxel remesh this is probably not enough but i'll keep it anyway because then my viewport is uh, more responsive for the tutorial so now this is going to be my sky dancer now you might be thinking, okay, for the effect that we're going for, we're gonna need some pressure or we're gonna use the pressure feature. Um, but actually I'm gonna simulate this using real wind. So how about I take out the surfaces down here, these uh, faces, X delete faces. I'll take this edge loop, scale C0 to bring it all up to one level. And right away, I know that I have to pin this these down. So I'm going to create a vertex group, call it pin, and just assign this bottom edge loop here to this group. Okay, now in the physics simulation, I want to create a cloth. I'm going to pin what I just did down here. So this is pinned. Then we will have to play with all of these numbers, but we also need a force field wind. Bring that down here so that it's blowing in from the bottom, just like with the real sky dancer. And then we're just gonna have to start playing with some values. Save it out quick and hit play. What's happening? Ooh, this is way too heavy. All falling down. First of all, I think our wind has like no strength whatsoever. So let's see. Oh, okay. It's already doing something. And now we start to play with numbers. Vertex mass. Make the whole cloth a little lighter like this. Also, we will have to switch on self collision. Otherwise, this will never look right. And this is very slow to simulate. Okay, now the wind might be a little bit too strong. And also, one thing we have to do is, or I think it helps a lot. I've been playing with this for hours, by the way. But if we delete those faces so that the, the air can actually flow out the sides here. Uh, yeah, like that. And hit play. 
then we get more detail and more uh, wrinkles in the arms, basically. And for whatever physical reason, which I find is very interesting, if you get all these values and the weights and everything right, it even it even bends like in the middle here and in the middle of the arm. So it looks like, you know, the hip and the elbows. But of course, you will have to play a lot. So right now, it seems like the wind is too strong. Let's turn that down. Let's see what that looks like. We, all we really want is for the sky dancer to kind of fall down and then get back up again and, and the arms flying around and waving around. That's really what we're looking for here. So you can see now it fell down and now the wind is kind of inflating it again. It's also twisting a lot. Okay, so one thing that might help a little against this flattening here that we can see here is actually some pressure on the inside. So how about we apply a little bit of pressure on the inside. If we do too much, we will not get any sky dancing effect. Now this looks like too much already. So what if we just do a little bit so that the cylinder stays more cylinder shaped? Okay, okay, okay. This looks kind of cool. He's already getting elbows here. And another little hip. And he's starting to dance. Uh, I don't know if the wind is strong enough now. Also, you will have to let this run for like at least a thousand frames to get, you know, the full effect. But this is already looking kind of cool. And then what you also want is you want a ground plane because in the last simulation I saw that he's kind of bending over. So maybe you need a cube. And put him on its little... I think they even always come with that because the, the, the fan has to be somewhere. Put a bevel on this. And... Also make it a collision object. So now we have something much more realistic. Maybe also put a ground plane underneath here and also make it a collision object just in case he bends over this far. And then really that's all there is to it. All you really need now is maybe some texturing, some interesting lighting, and then really fine-tune all the settings of the cloth simulation in here. Play with the vertex mass, play with the um, wind strength. Also, you can play with the bend factor here. And then with the pressure, of course. But all we have now is a mesh, heavily subdivided mesh. We have pinned some vertices down here so that they don't fly away. And now the wind force field is really doing all the rest. Shade smooth. And as always, you can always add a subdivision surface on top of that. So let's quickly look at the file that I created. This is my sky dancer that I created. I also made the ends here like that. And then I gave him a texture. Oops. So I have uh, materials on here. Then I have the HDRI lighting the whole scene. I also gave him a face, which is just a material assigned to these faces here. That's all I did. And this is my Sky Dancer. So now we can check out the settings that I have on here. Uh, cloth Sim, what do I have? I have quality steps 10, so I turned the quality steps up. I also set the speed to 2, just so I get a faster movement. Uh, vertex mass is 0.2. Bending is 1, so that we have a little bit more resistant, uh, resistance against uh, fine uh, bends, creases, folds. 
what else do we have? We have a pressure of 0 0.5 in here. And of course we have the, the vertices on the bottom pinned with the shape here. We have object collision, self collision. Yeah, and that's basically all there is to it. We have the gravity, of course, otherwise it wouldn't fall down and get back up. And then we have the wind. Now let's check out the wind settings. What do we have here? I have a strength of 400, flow of 10. And that's it. And like I said before, I find it very interesting <laughs> and kind of cool that he always bends in the middle here, which makes it look like he has a hip there. And it mostly bends right in the middle of the arm to make it look like elbows. And that is it for the Sky Dancer tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial of the Practical Cloth Sim series, please smash the like button below and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. I read all the comments, so please drop me a note and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, see you over in the next video.